Within a second, most people will be like, yeah, I want to drive it. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sienna and I have cerebral palsy. Let's get to today's topic. Mobility devices and why they're important. The whole concept of why would you need more than one, most of the time you can use one. You have your everyday device. But there are times that you're tired or it doesn't make sense to use one device. So today I wanted to give you the list of all the different things I have and for what reasons. For me, number one is going to be my crutches. The devices I use on an everyday basis, what you'll see me using 90% of the time. For me, this is basically my equivalent to an able-bodied person just walking. My crutches are what give me the mobility to just move around my house and move around the world as easily as possible. I don't have a lot of restriction in terms of like using my hands or like having something around me like a wheelchair and there's less worry about like my balance and my how strong my core is like if I was able to walk. Can I walk on my own? Yes. <laughs> is it practical on an everyday basis? No, it's not because I'm using so much energy and time and muscle memory and strength to be able to take steps on my own that it is impractical to even think about doing that on a daily basis. Should I work on it more? Yes. But my crutches allow me to take some of that weight and stress off and just worry about getting around because sometimes that's what you need. You just need to be able to move and function in the world. The freedom it allows me in more than one way is unparalleled to all the other things we're going to talk about today. So, my crutches, my go-to, my ride or die, the thing I use literally every day. The second thing, oh, I can count. It's two. We're on two. The second thing I use is a walker. I don't really use this much anymore because I'm done with school and I don't have a need to carry a lot of things. There are two different kinds of walkers that I've seen. I don't know if there's like medical terms for these, but there are the ones that you can pull behind you. So you basically have like a, a three-sided cage around you and you pull it while you walk and the ones that you push, you have a, two handles and there's something in front of you and you push it instead. I use these at different times in my life. I use the pull one when I was younger before I had my crutches um, because I was a very unstable child. It's very wobbly throughout my childhood. The one I used most in my life was the push one because it allowed me to carry my school supplies and everything I needed on a daily basis in school. So I was able to basically set and forget all my supplies and I didn't need a locker. It's what allowed me to get around and be mobile in my school without any help. If I would have had to carry all my stuff in a backpack, it would have taken me a lot of time and energy. A walker just made more sense because it really didn't matter how much weight or how many things I piled on this. I mean, it did because one time I was in college and I had too much weight on it and I it collapsed. So word of caution, if you use a push walker and it has a seat on it, just be aware of how much weight you're actually putting on your walker. 
But also, they're not great because, at least for me, like, I live in a pretty small house. So, like, the doorways aren't really wide enough for a walker, which, again, is why I use my crutches most of the time. If I were to use a walker, it would take up a lot of room and it would be harder to maneuver in my own house. Number three on my list, if I'm being honest, is my favorite one ever. <laughs> An electric scooter, okay? Its usefulness is twofold. You can carry as much as you want in it and it won't ever really change. And it's an icebreaker. A scooter was most practical in the situation of the I was at I was at college and that scooter was not really gonna move. We obviously moved it to get it there and like to get it home, but it rarely moved from my apartment unless I was going somewhere. Unless I was like on campus. So it never really went in a car. But it was imperative for me to have a scooter in college because there was no way I was going to walk around that campus on my crutches or in a wheelchair. I tried it. <laughs> you could get around really anywhere on campus in like 7 to 10 minutes depending on how fast you walk obviously. If I, if I were to walk that campus with my stuff, I, it would take me two hours to get really anywhere. At least an hour. It was not practical. So, why did I get a scooter? To just cut down on the freaking time it would take me to get to class every day. The scooter allowed me to maneuver in buildings and outside really easily. I have a... A basket on the back of it that allows me to like carry my backpack and my crutches there's also something on the back of it that's my crutches can go into it just allowed me to be the most efficient as possible in college because there's no way I'd be able to get around and be independent without it so I am Super grateful that I was able to get a scooter. And I mean, like, I like having a walker and a scooter and like they, the icebreaker. Going back to the icebreaker thing, like in college, it was the one thing that like broke the ice. And I like was able to have fun with people and like allow them to have fun with me. like. If I needed someone to grab my scooter, within a second, most people would be like, yeah, I want to drive it. Like, can I drive it? Like, yes, I'll come, I'll bring it to you. Like, it's just fun, and it's a toy for some people, and you can laugh about it and, like, be comfortable. So, a scooter. My favorite thing I've ever been able to buy. The last thing on my list is my wheelchair. My wheelchair is the thing that I had before I had my, my scooter. It's the only thing that allowed me to sit down. So for example, I'm using my wheelchair if I have to go to the mall, if we're going to Orlando, Florida, like Universal Studios, the Renaissance Fair, anywhere that requires me to like move around a lot. I am bringing my wheelchair. The airport. I'm bringing my wheelchair to those places because there is no way that I would be able to, with my energy level and my strength, walk those places. And there's no way that it's practical to bring my scooter because my scooter literally weighs like a thousand pounds. There's no way that my mom is able to put that in the car by herself. No. So, we have a wheelchair that's way, that weighs a lot less and is way more portable for those situations. 
So those are all of the mobility devices I use for different situations. Those people that say, why do you use crutches if you can walk? Why do you use a wheelchair if you have crutches? They don't understand that it's all about your energy level and the amount of strength that you have on that day or for what you're doing. How are you most able to navigate the world in the situations that you're going to be in on that day? It's not about that I'm being greedy and I can have all these things. Yes, it's really nice I can have all these things for different, for different reasons. I am not saying that's not a privilege because it is a privilege. But just because I can walk doesn't mean that it's not exhausting sometimes. Mobility devices are what give us, it's what breaks the barrier for us. I can be a, an active part of society because I have crutches. I can be an active part of society because I have a wheelchair. I couldn't make it through college without my scooter. And having these devices allows that struggle to be a little bit lighter on my shoulders. So with that, I think that's all we have for today. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. I'm more than happy to answer questions about this, and I will see you next time. Thank you so much. Bye.